proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? Uh, you're what are you, you going to grab me? I'm a game show. Ah. Next, your munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't eat it. I can. Watch me. I ain't that giant. No. It's V5O Yum. And today's contestants, all the way from London, are the Master Chef. And they'll be playing against Kapow, who come from Italy. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host, it's Des Buckingham Les Dennis! show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's Gina. And I'll let you all into a little secret. I believe that it might be a certain giant's birthday today. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> uh, who? You, you great lummox. Oh, how could I forget it was my birthday? <laughs> how daft do you think I am? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> OK, teams, let's wish Brian a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brian! Oh, thank you, you munchies. I'm still going to eat you, though. Hang on a minute, Brian. Before you eat them, we've got to meet them. So let's meet Master Chef! <laughs> Hiya, Jody. Hi, Les. How are you? Good, thanks. Introduce us to your team. Jake. Hi, Les. Hiya, Jake. Jay. Hi, Les. Hi, Jay. Marianne. Hi, Les. Hi, Marianne. And Ross. Hi, Les. Hi, Ross. So, why do you call yourselves the Master Chefs? We decided to have something to do with cooking. Oh. So, we did Master Chef because we are the masters. You are the masters and you are the chefs, but be very careful because you might end up in one of Brian's recipes and you won't want that. That's the Master Chefs. Let's meet Kapow! Hi, Eloise. Hi, Les. Introduce it to your team. Jack. Hi, Les. Hiya, Jack. Charlie. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Charlie. James. Hiya, Les. Hiya, James. And Luke. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Luke. And why do you call yourselves Kapow? Well, because it was unique and short and snappy. Short and snappy and unique. That sounds good. So we've got Master Chefs and Kapow. That's the teams. <laughs> Okay, teams, this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to win time. The more time you win, the better chance you will have in our show's finale, The Great Escape. Now then, as it's Brian's birthday, he's bought himself a chow mein from the Chinese takeaway here in Giant oh, Land. Delicious. I mean, if you can't enjoy a chow mein on your birthday, when can you enjoy one? But the only problem is, they put peas in and he ate peas. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I'll let you off seeing as it's your birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh silly man. That was a pee too far. <laughs> OK, teams, in this game, you have to take as many peas out of the chow mein as you can using the chopsticks that Brian has given you. The team that takes the most peas out will be in the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, that chow mein will take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. So, Brian, who's going to play? Fee fi fo yum. Jody and Jay. Mmm, I reckon you'd be delicious covered in tomato sauce. Luke and James. I'm gonna scoff you down in one. Brian has chosen. Teams, let's play. <laughs> chop, chop. OK, teams, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out to get rid of those peas. Three, two, one, chop, chop. 
Off you go, that's it. You need to get rid of those peas and they need to go on the plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really hard. Oh, look, Master Chefs, you just lost that pea. You don't want to pee on the table. If you understand what I mean. <laughs> Master Chef's close there's all on the plates! I think, guys, when you're getting the noodles mixed up in your chopsticks, that's not going to help you. Oops! Try and get that noodle away from your chopstick, James. I'm hungry. Chop, chop! Close. 30 seconds left. Yes, oh, be careful. Oh, that was nearly off. So when you get it over that plate, you need to take care just in case that pea bounces off. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, why I peas. Oh. Even with the noodles wrapped around the chopsticks, they made it work. Oh, this could level it. It could level it. Yes! Well done! It's yeah. nearly a Peter, Time's your opponent. Up. Time's up! OK, players, back to your teams. Don't know how happy Brian will be, cos there's still lots of peas in there. You know what, Brian? I think you should give peas a chance. <laughs> Don't do it. So, at the end of that game, Master Chefs, you got two peas on the plate. Kapow, you got two peas on the plate. So you both get a five-second lifeline. Well done! <laughs> but it's still all to play for. That's all from part one of Fee Fi Fo Yum, but stay tuned. Well, I'm going to eat both of these because it's my birthday and I'm going to do exactly what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Fed up mm. with eating tough, chewy, elderly humanchies with no decent meat on them? Then you need a little OAP sauce in your life. Oh. OAP sauce transforms the chewiest old humanchies into oh. real appetite pleasers. Just because they're old doesn't mean they can't be delicious. OAP sauce, making OAPs so tasty. Watching GTV. Back now to Les Dennis. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. At the end of our first game, the Master Chef's got a five second lifeline. We've got a five second lifeline. So there's plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! And um, if the other team beat you, Brian's gonna. Yes, and this is Brian's favourite part of the show, and since it's his birthday, I'm going to let him introduce it without moaning. Go on then, Brian, off you go. It's Desi's Tasty Challenge. <laughs> it's Les's Tasty Challenge, but I'll let him off this once. <laughs> Desi's Tasty Challenge. James, it might be his birthday, but he still gets on me wick. Hmm? Oh, um, <laughs> hello, Brian. I, I just said, uh, wouldn't it be nice if you had a birthday picnic? Oh, not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, You're not as daft as you look. <laughs> All right. Now then, under this dish, Brian has placed some food. I have to eat as much of it in 30 seconds as I possibly can. You have to guess how much you think I will eat. Is that clear, teams? Yes, yes! Let's reveal the meal. Sausages! Sausages Very for nice. his birthday treat. OK, how many of these sausages do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? Yeah. Put down your guesses on your cards. So nine, Fifteen, I think a bit more. Maybe oh, seventeen. Actually, cocktail sausages, mm. Brian. <laughs> You've come up trumps here. <laughs> oh, better not say that. No, ten, ten. Do ten. Eighteen. Just do ten. Let's just do ten. Okay, teams, you should have come up with your guesses, but keep them to yourselves. Brian, can I have my light, please? Of course, Des. Thank you. I have thirty seconds, starting now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. You've started, so you're finished. It's not as easy as it looks. Charlie was saying, shove them in. Anybody want a sausage while I'm getting rid of them? Oh, I like these there you go. Pass them down. Just, just get on with it, Des. It's Brian's birthday, after all. Yeah. Could have given his birthday cake, but now he gave us sausages. Oh, if you can't have a cocktail sausage on Brian's birthday, when can you have one? <laughs> all gone. Uh, oh? I care for that little bit just there. <laughs> Master chefs, what was your guess? We guessed 15. 15? Oh. You thought I could eat 15 cocktail sausages in 30 seconds? And Kapow, how many did you guess? 14. 14, an upside down oh. 14. But that's nice, Charlie. I like it. It looks good that <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> A bit optimistic, I think. Brian, how many cocktail sausages did I manage in 30 seconds? <clears throat> I can confirm you have eaten four cocktail sausages. Four? So it means you are the closest with 14. You have at least had the four there. So you get the five-second lifeline. We're going to take a break. Join us soon when one of our teams of humungies will end up in Brian's tum. See you then. <laughs> Imagine a shampoo so soft, so gentle, so cheesy. Imagine no more. With natural cheese extracts, Cheesy Chop Shampoo leaves your hair soft and cheesy no matter how often you use it. If you get it in your eyes, it doesn't sting. And if you get it in your mouth... Mm, cheesy. Its unique cheesy formula constantly maintains your hair's cheese levels. From morning till evening. Made purely of cheese. Cheesy Chops. Your hair will never feel better or cheesier. Thank you and welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yo! Days, look, look! Oh, Brian, please, no, no, don't, hey? <laughs> Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. At this point in the game, the Master Chefs have a five second lifeline. Yeah! The Power have a ten second lifeline. Yeah! Ready to time up the grabs as we play this, our next game. Brian has chucked a load of fridge magnets into the lime jelly. Your job in this game is to take them out and create a sum that equals Brian's lucky number. So, Brian, as it's your birthday, maybe your lucky number today should be your age. How old are you, Brian? Jess, do you mind? Don't you know you never ask a giant his age? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Brian. Didn't mean to offend. Sorry about that. So, what's your lucky number, then? Today's lucky number is... 37. Good one. So, the team that creates the sum that adds up to his lucky number first will win the five-second lifeline. OK, teams, is that clear? Yes, yes! So, let's find out who's diving into the jelly. Brian? I'm watching you. Ross, you look juicy. I'll have snack. The army jack. You'll slip down a treat. And who'll be making the sum? I'm gonna pick... Marion and Jay. You're going to end up in my tum. I'm going to pick Charlie and Eloise. You two are going to be delicious. Brian's made his choice. Let's play. Lucky number. So, Ross and Jack, you will be diving for the magnets. You will pass them to Mariam and Charlie, who will then pass them on to Jake and Eloise, who will make the sum. Good luck, teams. Remember, you can only have five symbols and numbers out at one time, but if you don't like them, you can change them. Goggles on. Please, five, oh, go! Oh, no. That's it, Yara! Yeah. Find those symbols, find those numbers. Yeah. You have to come up with a sum. 
equals 37. That's Brian's lucky number today. Come on, get the numbers out. No, changed it. I see what you're doing. Six. That's it. If you need, if you need a number or a symbol, let the guys in the lime jelly know. They don't know what you want. Master chefs. Master chefs have come up with a sum. We're going to ask you, what is your sum? Six times six equals thirty-six. As one equals thirty-seven. Is that right, Brian? It's correct. There you go, it's right. Well done, you get the five-second lifeline. Well done, Master Chefs. So, you guys, Kapow, what were you going for? We were going for seven times five plus two. Plus two, but you couldn't find the plus and the two. Oh, well, I just we thought, thought that, that was, was a one. one. Oh, you thought that was a one? OK. But there you go. That's You, you were nearly there. But hard luck, you don't get a lifeline. Oh. But I tell you what, we're going to take a break so you guys can dry off. And we're going to have an ad break now. And you have to watch very closely because I will be quizzing you on them when we get back. And you lot can play at home as well. If you like, but your life won't depend on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, messy eater. I think someone needs a slop and save. Go on, shovel it in. Nothing gets wasted with the slop and save. Its unique patented recycling suck system slurps into action with the flick of a switch, and you'll get instant sloppy seconds. Mmm, mouthwatering. The waste not, want not, slop and save. Only 55 grots. Feeling tired and in need of a boost? Then you need Go Go Giant, giving you the energy to get up and go go! And go go! And go go! Don't live in slow mo, have some go go! Welcome back to FIFI for Yum! And uh, hang on a minute, what's happening? No, Brian, I've told you those cameramen are really expensive! <laughs> uh, oh, get over it, Des. It's my birthday! Oh, Silly camera man. five, could you frame up, please? Right, teams, I hope that you were watching the commercials really carefully because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you have an answer, buzz in. And if it's correct, I'll give you a two-second lifeline. If it's incorrect, I'll pass it over to your opponents. Now then, at this stage in the game, Master Chefs, you have a ten-second lifeline. Well done. <laughs> you have a ten-second lifeline. So this is your last chance, teams, to win some valuable life-saving time and go into the lead as we go into the great escape. All right, fingers on your buzzers. Good luck as we play. Add analysis. Question one in the waste not want not slop and save ad. What was the giant eating? Kapow! Kapow! Sausage and mash. Sausage and mash, Charlie. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you are right. Well done. Ooh, yeah. Two well, seconds to you. Question two. According to the ad, how much gets wasted with the slop and save? Master chefs. Master chefs. Nothing. Let's see. Are you right? Go on, shovel it in. Nothing gets wasted with the slop and save. Yes, nothing gets wasted is the correct answer. Oh, oh, oh I don't even think about that. Question three. What was the giant doing at the start of the Go Go Giant ad? Master chefs. Master chefs. He was sleeping on some <laughs> toast. Oh, very specific. Let's see. He was sleeping. Yes, absolutely, you are right, and you get two seconds for that. <laughs> Question four. What did the giant have stuck to his face when he woke up? Master chefs. Toast. Did he have toast? <laughs> well, it may be, it may be right, because you've already kind of half given it me. Yes, it was toast! I knew that one. So this is really crucial now. Question five. How many times did you hear the name Go-Go? Master chefs. Going to need an answer from you. You're going to have to pass it over. Three. No. Three. Three. You took a guess. Is it a guess? Let's see. You need Go Go Giant. Get up and go go. And go go. And go go. 
have some go-go. It was five, so no second lifeline for either team on that one. So at the end of that round, Master Chefs, you got three right, which gives you a six-second lifeline. Yes. And Kapow, you got one right, so you get a two-second lifeline. Woo! How will that affect your scores and who will have the advantage in the great escape? Let's find out. After the weather from Windy Wendy. <laughs> I love keeping you going. Here's Giant Television's latest forecast, brought to you by Bot Buster Beans, loved by giants everywhere. Hello there, it's Windy Wendy Weather Vane with your GTV weather. Now today, there's going to be sudden, frequent outbreaks of winds. <clears throat> and as the day wears on, they'll become more prolonged. And really unpleasant. And that's today's weather. Oh, I beg your pardon. Welcome back to FIFA Fo Young, where things are getting serious. This is it, teams. It's down to you here. Brian doesn't pick anymore. You have to decide who is going to take on the great escape. <laughs> together and make a decision. This is a really important decision for both teams because whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. Such a pressure. OK, teams, come out of your huddles, because I need to know who's playing. So, Master Chefs, who's playing and why? Jake is playing because we think that he's fast and strong and we can rely on him to win us our freedom. Jake, are you up to that? Yes. You don't feel the pressure? OK, that's the Master Chef's choice. We go over to Kapow. Who's playing and why? Charlie. Because he's small, he's agile and he's fast. Charlie, and he'll yeah? win us our freedom. You reckon you can do all those things? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Charlie's up for it. OK, that means Jake and Charlie, it's time for... Great escape. This is it. Jake and Charlie. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice. It's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs. <laughs> then you must take on the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got those tea bags out. Next, you must complete the chock bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you. If you're not the winner, you'll be Brian's. Yeah. OK, mm. so, Master Chefs, you have an overall lifeline of 16 seconds. Kapow, yes. you have an overall lifeline of 12 seconds. So that means you have a four second lead, Jake. How do you feel? Um, great. And what about you, Charlie? Can you catch up? I'm confident I'm going to get my friends to freedom. You will go, Jake, on Brian's first whistle. And then, Charlie, you will go on Brian's second whistle four seconds later. Brian, are you ready? Jake's up. He's into the donut dash. Well done. Not a trip. Charlie's not far behind. Oh, Jake didn't seem to know where he was going. Now, when he went into the kitchen room, has Charlie caught up there? They're both knocking meatballs out of the way. Charlie's just there. Big bowl of lime jelly. 
Here's Charlie there. Has he done it? It looks like he's finished the chuck bar challenge. Yes. He's into the big bowl. He's caught up those four seconds, but he's gone very, very slowly there. He dived in. No one was the best thing because your hands get really, really messy. And he's having trouble already. James beginning it to get the hang of the chuck bar challenge. Charlie's still struggling there on the slippery slope. Looks like Jake's about to finish the chunk ball challenge. It must be all in place. There you are. You've done it. Use it as the warm play. That's it. In you go. Oh, Jake has used the technique. Caught up those four seconds, but what Jake did there was absolutely inspired, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. So, you know what that means? You're not the winner. It means you're Brian's... Dinner. Dinner, absolutely. Sorry to lose you. Over to you, Brian! Happy birthday, Brian. Nice to meet you. Sorry, Kapow, but rules are rules, and it is his birthday. Brian, it's party time! I'm near you. I like it, but I'm still going to eat you. Happy birthday! I'm going to enjoy you. Oh, you look tasty. Happy birthday, Brian. That's it from V5 Bo Young. Brian's tucking into his birthday treat, but it won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two teams of humongies will fight for their lives and hope to stay out of Brian's tongue. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. Here you are, Dave. Thanks, Brian. Whoa, I don't like it, Brian. Whatever you do, don't. <laughs> 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 the weekend starts early with some massive shows every Big Bad Friday on CBBC. We kick off with a huge new series of the summer. Who's the governor? Then gigantic new Danny's house. Can't believe it. Cheese! And then the whopper that is the all-new TMI Friday. Now, that is big and that is very clever. The perfect way to kick off your weekend. Big Fab Fridays starts now over on the CBBC channel. Here saying yep. hello to both the CBBC channel. Hello, CBBC. As well as BBC One. Bonjour, BBC One. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're taking over the CBBC channel yep. and BBC One. What next? The entire world! The entire world. Yeah, that's unlikely. I thought maybe we would take no, over. No, yeah, no. Not even a little. No, 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 no. Right, well, today it is Big Fab Friday, yeah. and at 5 30 today, we have got brand new Simon Marks TMI Friday exclusive yep. to the CBBC channel. You are probably at home getting ready for the big event, but I wonder how Sam and Mark are getting ready for the big event. Hi there, I'm Sam. You may recognise me from such shows as Who Wants to Be a Superhero? It was really popular. I'm bringing popcorn to the TMI Friday party. Salted or sweet? Salted, please. I'm sweet enough. Hello, I'm Mark. You might remember me from shows such as Sam and Mark's Guide to Dodging Disasters. <laughs> and the TMI Friday party wouldn't be a TMI Friday party without a tea cosy. That's right. What? A tea cosy? Listen, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm all for quirky. Mm. I love a good quirk. Yeah. But why in the name of Steve Backshall are you bringing a tea cosy? Silly, silly Sam. A, it keeps my tea nice and warm. Mm. And B, 
It keeps my head protected 